Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Moyu Vlong WRM 2021 Maglev Edition. So around June of last year, my friend Amir Sefi got a Moyu Vlong WRM 2021 straight from Moyu to test out. I actually got to try it out at a meetup and my biggest problem with it was that it was just way too slow. So when I heard that the Maglev version of this cube was incredibly fast, I was absolutely sold and knew I had to get this cube. As always, thank you so much to Speedcube Shop for sending me this puzzle to test out. And if you want to buy this cube or any other Speedcube, be sure to get it at Speedcube Shop and use the discount code ROM for 5% off your order, as well as a shout out at the end of my latest video. Alright then, let's open this up. I like this simple packaging, now I won't feel bad about throwing away this box and oops, I just destroyed it. Anyway, at first sight, we are greeted with the accessories box, which I'll take a look at later. And inside, we have the cube itself. I also got this pamphlet type of thing which goes over all of these records set by Moyu Cubes and the entirety of Team Moyu. Hello, what's up? Anyway, let's take a look at the cube now. Alright, so right off the bat, I'm absolutely loving those purple internals. And the cube seems to have a semi-frosted plastic, like it's not exactly glossy but it's not frosted either, it's somewhere in between. Uh, anyway, let's get into first turns. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. Okay, it's just way too fast right now, but I really like this cube much more than the Worm 2021 I tried from Amir. This cube is just so fast and so nice. Okay, I'm absolutely overshooting on it, but I'm really enjoying this cube right out of the box. Yeah, when I tried Amir's Worm 2021 for the first time, I expected it to feel something similar to this, except this one is like a million times faster. Wow, I'm actually kind of at a loss for words right now. This thing is just amazing. The only problem I have with it right now is that it is extremely fast and it has to be slowed down for me to be able to use it. But all in all, the feeling is absolutely amazing and it performs really well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the corner cutting. Wow, the purple internals are cool. Alright. Wow, the corner cutting is pretty great actually. Reverse. Yeah, reverse gets caught around here. About a little behind. Yep, it does it with absolutely no effort, which is pretty great. Yeah, this cube also feels really reliable in my hands. It doesn't feel like it's going to pop or corner twist at all. And the fact that it comes in at under $30 less if you use code RAM at Speedcube Shop is absolutely amazing. And I highly recommend this. Let's take a quick look at the accessories box. Here we have some classic Moyu tools. Here we have the magnet adjustment thing, which apparently keeps breaking. We've got some more pamphlets. I assume to tell us how the maglev tensioning system works. And we've got a few tools to, I guess, adjust the tensions. And yep, I guess that's about it. So yeah, I think I'll go and slow this puzzle down just a little bit and break it in with a bunch of Souls, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. See ya. Hey guys, I'm back. I've had this cube for about a week now. I've set it up and done a bunch of souls on it, and I think I'm ready to give my thoughts. First of all, let me just start out by saying that this cube is absolutely amazing. Firstly, the speed of this cube is absolutely incredible. I was able to slow it down to a point where I can control it now, but this cube is still definitely one of the faster cubes I've used. For me, the feeling of this cube is like a mixture between the GAN 11M Duo and the WRM 2019. It has the soft and quiet feeling of the GAN 11M Duo along with the crunchiness of the Worm 2019. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the feeling of the cube, but this also largely depends on how you set it up, which admittedly, the cube is a bit hard to do. So, let's talk about my setup. I start I started out by adding two drops of Nebula and Cosmos each in hopes of slowing down the puzzle, but then the puzzle just got a bit too slow for my taste. I then added three drops of Martian to speed up the puzzle a bit, but it still wasn't fast enough for me. Then of course, I went to my last resort of speeding up cubes, Lunar and Stardust. I added around two drops of each and that really did the trick. The cube felt perfect and has felt that way since. Oh, and I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but my magnet strength is on the strongest setting, which is just what it came with out of the box. As for my maglev compression, it's just one click from the bottommost setting. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Now, let's talk about the performance of this cube. The corner cutting on this cube is pretty great, although not as good as the Worm 2019 in my opinion. It can go around this much forward and around this much reverse, which is less than the Worm 2019, but the amount it can do does it with absolutely no effort. In comparison to my WRM 2019 here, as you guys can see, the Worm 2019 can actually corner cut better than the Worm 2021 Maglev. But to be very honest, this doesn't make a huge difference because in Souls, you're really not gonna corner cut all that much. While I do get a few minor catches here and there on this cube, I feel like it's more because I'm not used to the insanely fast speed of the Worm 2021 Maglev. I feel like over time, I'll be able to adapt to this cube better and get fewer catches. 
pops and corner twists absolutely never happen on this cube and this cube also feels really stable in your hand which is a big plus point considering how fast the cube is now let's talk about the one thing that sets this cube apart from every other speed cube on the market the purple internals while performance wise this makes absolutely no difference aesthetically this makes the cube look so much nicer and a lot more fun to use if that makes sense and now it's time for the big question is this cube my main before i answer that question i want to pass it over to a couple of special guests kunal ok and kiwi cuber they are going to be talking about this cube and your let's hear what they have to say Hey everyone, this is Kunal, and I'll be sharing my thoughts on the WRM 2021 Maglev. So this is just identical to the regular WRM 2021, except it has the Maglev kind of adjustment system instead of the regular spring adjustment system. So talking about why I really like this cube, especially over the original WRM 2021, the first reason is it's a lot heavier. So this is actually a reason a lot of people don't like this cube, but I personally have a preference for heavier cubes due to my kind of relatively old school turning style, and the cube being heavier. In my experience, it just makes it far more reliable to turn. However, since the extra weight is in the centers, it doesn't really add anything to the momentum of every turn, so it doesn't really cause any overshooting issues for me. The second reason I really like the cube is actually its responsiveness. So compared to a cube like the WRM 2019, the corner cutting is a lot snappier, even for smaller cuts. If you can hear, even reverse. And that is actually because the cube is far more stable as compared to the WRM 2019. Once again, the stability along with the heavier weight of the cube makes it very reminiscent of cubes such as the Walk Elite and the original Walk. Except, I think this cube performs way better than both of them. And the final reason is because I think purple internals look so cool. I mean, not only do they look cool, if you can see having kind of purple, actually, you know, the holes actually look black depending on the lighting. But having darker color base like this, it makes the colors of the cube actually look a lot more vibrant. Uh, in comparison, if any of you have seen the original WRM 2021, it has primary internals, and in my experience, it actually dulls down the colors quite a bit, and sometimes it causes some recognition issues for me. Whereas on this cube, the colors stand out a lot more. Uh, I also kind of forgot to mention this, but this is also the cube on which I have my PB average of five of 5.58 seconds, which you can actually see. Over on my channel, so not only is it a very reliable cube, it actually holds up to some pretty fast turning. All things considered, this cube is my current main. I just really like everything about it. I really don't think the cube is for everyone because it is really fast and quite heavy. But you know, if that's the kind of cube you like, then I think this one is really good. Hey everyone, it's Kiwi Kiba here to talk about the WRM 2021 Maglev. This cube is one of my favorite cubes ever and was my main for quite a while. Out of the box, it came way too fast, but with a bit of setup and slowing down, it got to a really nice, controllable speed. The turning is really smooth, and the purple internals give it quite a nice look. The corner cutting is amazing, and it can cut from pretty much anywhere. I really have no complaints about the cube at all. The adjustment system is really easy to use. It responds to lube well, and it looks and feels like a premium puzzle. I know my part in this video is really short, but all I wanted to say is that it's a really good cube, and I would highly recommend getting it. Thank you so much to Ram for featuring me in this video, and make sure to subscribe to him and get him to 4,000 subscribers in no time. Thank you so much to Kunal and Kiwi Cuber for joining me on this video. It's now time for me to answer the big question: Is this cube my new main? Well. This is a tricky question, but let me try and answer it. I've been solving on this cube a lot lately, and I thought the answer would be no because of how fast it was. But after slowing it down a bit, I'm actually really enjoying the cube. On the other hand, I'm still not 100% used to the crazy speed of Maglev cubes, and this causes me to have more catches than on my current main, the Cosmic WRM 2019. I'm still able to get fantastic times on it, and my average on this cube is very similar to my current main. But the catches make me less consistent on it, and I think that the issue is mainly because I'm just not used to the speed of the cube yet. While I'm unsure about whether this cube is my main at the moment, I think it has a very high chance to become my main after I get used to the faster turning speed of Maglev. I'm still switching between this and my Worm 2019, and at my upcoming competition, I might end up using either one depending on how I'm feeling. But all in all, for such a good price, I highly recommend the WRM 2021 Maglev, especially if you like fast cubes. It's definitely better than anything I've tried from Gan and Chi so far, and it is undoubtedly one of the best speed cubes on the market today. So that's about it for this video on my thoughts on the WRM 2021 Maglev edition. 
Thanks a lot to Speed Cube Shop as always for sending me this cube to test out, and thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Goodbye.